Good evening, everyone, and happy Monday. Today has been just a beautiful day overall. We did manage to top out at 50 degrees in El Paso, 48 in Las Cruces, matching that in Juarez. As for how we compare, well, on average, we should be getting closer to 57 degrees today. We managed to top out at 50, which means we were close to 10 degrees below average for this time of year. This morning, we started off at 23 degrees, again, 10 degrees below average, and we're going to be kind of close to that tonight into tomorrow morning. We're forecasting 27 in El Paso, 26 in Juarez, 24 in Las Cruces. These temperatures are what we would call a hard freeze. For those of you who do have any kind of sensitive plants outdoors, bring them in. You're going to want to do that. It, they will die overnight. Not only that, but if you have pets outside, guys, bring them indoors. If you get cold, they definitely get cold as well, despite uh, if they have thick fur or not. To make sure they're nice and warm indoors, we're looking at some pretty dangerous dangerous temperatures tonight, especially because any kind of breeze that we experience tonight will make these temperatures feel a lot colder than what we're dealing with tonight. So that's something to think about as you are planning out your evening. For the rest of El Paso, we're actually expecting to see a high pressure system take over. This is the one that's going to give us the opportunity to see those much warmer temperatures this week. So definitely in on a warming trend this week. For example, tomorrow we're forecasting 60 degrees. That's 10 degrees warmer than this afternoon and we're looking at those southwesterly winds 10 to 15 miles per hour so a little breezy this afternoon and then we'll see that hard freeze again this is tonight into tomorrow morning in las cruces we're forecasting a high of 61 degrees a nice cool afternoon but cold overnight 24 degrees for our friends in the mesilla valley and so westerly winds 10 to 15 miles per hour as for the rest of your nine day forecast, this is what we're dealing with. On Tuesday, we're forecasting a high of 60 degrees. So again, we already saw that 61 on Wednesday. You'll notice not much of a warming trend there from Tuesday into Wednesday. We'll stay in those 60s. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we'll warm a little bit more on Friday to 62 degrees. But get this, on Saturday, windy conditions as our next system moves in, this is what's going to give us those warmer temperatures. 65 degrees is what we're forecasting in El Paso on Saturday will drop to 60 degrees on Sunday and this is all thanks to that cold front that's going to be associated with the storm system. Not a lot of rain associated with any of these dates. We do expect to stay on the drier side of things. Then once the cold front hits, this will be Monday, Sunday into Monday, temperatures will drop to about 57 degrees, a little bit on the windier side of things. So both Saturday and Monday, we expect to see those winds anywhere between 25 to 30 miles per hour. We will not call it wind advisory just yet. We'll have to wait as we get closer to these dates, but I do want you to focus on those temperatures overnight. So 30 degrees, 32 degrees Tuesday into Wednesday, 31 Wednesday into Thursday, 30 Thursday into Friday. That's either at or below freezing for the next several nights. I do want to give a big shout out to one of our weather watchers, our loyal weather watcher, the Ruse family. Thank you so much for allowing us to see the beautiful rainbow on January 1st. I don't know if you guys caught it. I certainly did. It was such a sight. And thank you so much for allowing us to share it over in the east side. Now, if you would like to be featured on KTSM 9 News, submit those beautiful weather, uh, weather photos to us through our social media platforms or email. News at KTSM.com.